This is a box sanit pink. This is a box cream. Now, I wonder what would happen if we just, you know, made them... Okay, so here are two switches from two different years. The box creams in 2021 and the box silent pinks or, and the box silent browns. I forgot whether that was 2019 or 2020. But regardless, these two switches have their particular box characteristic, not because of the stems, because of the box interior. But I always wondered, why don't I just, you know, combine the two of them? And well, I did. <laughs> And this is a box silent pink cream. I guess I don't really know what to call it, but I'm just gonna call it the box silent pink cream. And admittedly, it looks pretty interesting once you put the pink inside of the cream. That could have came out a lot better. That also could have came out a lot better. All right, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stop. But anyway, I, I always wondered what if someone was crazy enough to do this? and wasn't me and would make an entire board out of it. Uh, so I'm just gonna take this switch and put it inside a keyboard and see what it sounds like. But before we do that, let's do a little switch, loose switch comparison in front of the microphone because, you know, let them, let them hear what they want, I guess. So here is a regular box cream. Here's what it sounds like. Pretty interesting pretty light it was a pretty different weight compared to the regular cream counterpart but the one thing that I forgot to mention in my original box cream review is that the reason why these switches are pretty good is because if you notice the very steep incline where it almost looks like a house because of the symmetry of the switch the reason why it slants so quickly in front of the switch compared to a traditional one, such as this one where it's fat in the front is because it will now be free of any form of interference which I actually find very useful uh, unfortunately I still can't justify buying it because it was what seven bucks last I checked but if you are looking for the cream experience and you want it box form and you don't want to care about interference and you have a cheaper keyboard then sure either way of the keycap will go so now because I hybridized the switch, we now have a kale regular cream. <laughs> it looks so weird because this reminds me of the creamy out switch that I made that is currently inside my S80, where it's a cream stem inside of an Alia's housing. And the sound is interesting to say the least. And here, we have the regular box on it pink and the box cream si silent whatever. So here's what it sounds like in its regular housing. You couldn't tell it's lubed. And this one is actually sort of stuck. So I'm just gonna lube this thing and head over to the keyboard side of things, I suppose, right now. Here we are in front of the keyboard and apologies for the sort of bags here. I'm going through a little bit of a spring cleaning phase and I decided to record this video on a whim. But regardless, this is the DOV2, otherwise known as the Amber keyboard, link in the top right corner. And I'm just going to be using the H position in the middle of the keyboard as the one spot of choice when it comes to putting the switches in and out and hopefully not breaking the hot swap socket. So let's remove the key switch. So out of here, Mr. 8008 Inc. I'll put you in later. So let's listen to a regular box cream first. This is an aluminium plate with a Tempest mod, which is the tape mod under some double shot ABS from JTK. So. Let's listen to a box cream really quickly.
Not too shabby. Let's take a look at the abomination we made, which was this weird sort of cream, box cream stem instead of regular kale housing. Me surprised, I guess. I thought cream switches and housings were supposed to make things basey. Hmm, okay, let's listen to a regular box silent pink. Hmm. Pretty, pretty standard practice, I suppose. Now. The real cream of the crop right now is the Weirdo Box Silent Pink Cream. Hmm. All right, in you go. Okay, moment of truth. Here is the Box Pink Silent Cream. You know, I don't hate it. It's still mushy because it's hot switch, but it's not bad. Before we do the little, you know, uh, back and forth comparisons and such, let me put a Boba U4 in here and see how it compares. I do believe I have one. Ah, yeah, here we go. Here is a Boba U4 that I accidentally made a little bit too much of when doing the RK84 video, which you can see in the top right corner. So let's plug this in and see how it compares. It isn't the same type of switch. This is a tactile versus a linear, but it'd be cool to see what it sounds like in this keyboard. Well, I guess we have a clear winner here, but in terms of the box pink silent cream, not a bad, not a bad little thing. I don't really know what the point of this video was, but I guess it's just, you know, keyboard boredom and just the fact that I have so many Franken switches that I'm willing to experiment with, I suppose, because up until now, if it wasn't for the fact I hadn't built my Polaris 75 all weirdo, uh, I probably would have had to buy another switch tester because of all the Franken switches that I have. If you are wondering how many Franken switches that I have, well, let's take a look at this. Here's all the Franken switches that I have. See here, there's all the Polia hybrids down here. We've got some random like halo stems in these ones. We've got the blueberry stemmed ones in here and also see cream burgundy switches and then some random stuff. Yeah, I get bored and I always find something to do when it comes to keyboard stuff. But recently, well, I guess I haven't had much time to do so, but yeah, I guess this is just another one to add to the collection of weirdo switches that I'll probably never use in a board. So I'll just put this right here or something. There we go. Cool. All right, well, that's the end of this video. Uh, I, I guess that's it. That's pretty much what happens when you put a silent pink box silent stem in a box cream. I don't know what I expected. All right, see ya.